Hello and welcome to another SQL Query Training Session with Learn at NoStar. In today's session, we are going to write a SQL Query in which we are going to find out the employees with the highest salary or top two employees with the highest salaries in a department and we are going to club all the other employees into a new category called Others. Now we've already written this query in which we find out the top two or top n employees with the highest salaries. So right, let's write that query again just to revise how that is written. Okay, so we are going to use another table called the employee table. It is present in the Adventure Worlds Data Warehouse database of SQL Server or Microsoft. We're just going to take the relevant columns from this table, which are the first name, last name, to get the full name of the employee, the department name, salary, and we are just going to filter on two departments so that it's easy for us to visualize what we are doing. So what we have done in this query, it's a simple select query that I have run right now, just to take a look at the data. So we see that the two departments, engineering and marketing, there are a number of employees in these departments and they have different salaries. So we are going to, the first step that we're going to do is find out the top two employees with the highest salaries. Now to find out the top two employees, the, uh, the best approach that we're going to take is to use the aggregate function, which is to find out the rank of the employees. So how do we use that aggregate function? Now we have already seen this a couple of times, but let's write this again. So you have a simple function called, uh, called rank and you need to use the over partition by uh, since we are going to find out the highest salary for each department, so we have to partition by the department name. So we just write department name and then we need to order by the salary in each department in a descending manner as let's say max salary. So what this is going to give us is it's going to calculate a rank for each of the salary in a department. Okay, so let's run this again. So now we have got another column called the max salary. And if we take a look at the engineering department employees, we see that Terry Duffy, who has the highest salary, has been ranked as number one. The one, uh, Roberto, who has the second highest salary, has been ranked as number two and so on. And similarly for the department marketing. Now we need to filter out on the top two employees. So to filter out on the top two employees, we have to put this query as a subquery. We are going to give this a name. So let's say as employee sal, and then we are going to write a query on top of it to select the full name. And let's say the department name and the salary. Okay. From this table. And then we have to filter on the top two salaries or the top two employees with the highest salary. So we are going to use another where clause where we have to filter on this rank that we just calculated. So where max salary is less than or equal to two. Now this is going to give us the top two employees with the highest salary for each department. So we have the top two employees over here. Now what we wanted to achieve was club all the remaining employees into a new category. Now to do that, uh, basically uh, to even to find out the other employees, we just have to change this, right? So if we put greater than two, uh, we'll be getting all the employees whose salary does not lie in the top two salaries in that department. So let's just copy this query that we have written over here and paste it to find out all the remaining employees. Okay, so this becomes now greater than two. Okay, but we don't have to find out each employee. What we are trying to do over here is sum their salaries into an other category. So to sum that salary, we have to use a sum function over here okay and then we cannot have a employee name because there would be different employee names so we would give the category name that we chose others as full name okay and we can remove 
the name column from here because we are summing it up on the department okay and then we have to use a group by clause whenever we are going to use any aggregate function like sum count max min we have to use the group by clause because we are grouping by or summing up at the department level we have to use department name here so group by department name so now if you run this query we should be getting the sum for each department and the category has been put as others now all we need to do to uh, fulfill our requirement of having the top two employees along with the other employees clubbed as others is simply to join or combine the results of these two different queries that we have written now to combine the results we can simply use union all which will simply combine the results of two different queries now there is a difference between using union and union all when we use union all it combines the records from the two queries and even if they're duplicates which means if a record lies as a as an output of the first query and also as an output of the second query it will combine them as two records and if you use union it combines only the distinct records so if the record lies as an output of the first query also as an output of the uh, second query it would not be joining as two records it would just retain one record uh, why we're using union all because we know that these records will never be the same the records that come as the output of this query the top two uh, highest salary employees and the remaining employees will never be the same so we are going to use union all because it is more performance efficient because then there is no backend processing that needs to happen to identify the distinct records and so on so it's always more performance friendly it gives a better performance and therefore we are going to use simply union all if we use union it's going to give the same result but it would have an impact on the performance okay so now if we run this query over here it's going to give us all the results and if we just uh, let's say if we just look at the engineering department over here then we can see that there are two records this is the uh, employee with the highest salary this is the employee with the second highest salary and then you have the remaining employees clubbed as others with the sum of all the other employees salary coming in the salary column so this is how you can use the different functions in SQL to frame this query. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, then please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.